Hello, and thank you for joining us today. My name is Jared Lamro. Uh, our group consists of Jeff Lambert and myself, Jared Lamro. Today I'll be discussing Harris Entertainment and their business intelligence. To begin with Harris Business Intelligence, they began with a, a, a new term of Ynet, Winner's Information Network, and this became their what they developed as their business intelligence uh, software for their company. <clears throat> this uh, business intelligence software utilized three parts. It utilized SAS 9, IBM Cognos, and Teradata. And what this consisted of is it was a system that would connect and consolidate the cons customer information from all of the customers or company's transactional uh, databases or transactional uh, systems, which included the slot machines, uh, those of the hotel management and their reservation systems. This Ynet consisted of a national database of operational uh, customer data and data warehousing, which has both customer data and data on an hourly basis from the slot machines. The marketing department utilizes this information in their marketing strategies. Now, when a customer calls, um, a customer calls Harris Entertainment for a reservation, uh, automatically what is populated on the screen for the agent is all of the customer's information from uh, what tier this customer is, their name, their address, where they usually play, how much they win or lose on a, a normal stay, uh, as well as maybe what their net worth is. And then the agent from there can take this information and take that into account when they're making their reservations. What this individual also does is ask the customer if they're responding to a particular uh, let's say a particular marketing um, campaign and what this agent can do from there is take that information that they're receiving from the customer for that marketing campaign they don't need to see the actual campaign they just need to hear from the customer what marketing campaign they're responding to and that agent can then mark that in the system and help the marketing uh, department understand which marketing campaigns are working and which aren't. So it gives them that much better uh, information when it comes to all aspects of the company. To give a little company overview, the company was founded in 1937 by William F. Hara. Currently they have 53 properties in 12 states and 7 countries. They have over 85,000 employees and they have more than 45 million total reward customers. In 2005, Harris finalized their purchase of the property of uh, Caesars Entertainment. And in 2010, they formally changed their name to Caesars Entertainment. And anybody that's been to Las Vegas or New Jersey, uh, Atlantic City, <coughs> and has seen the properties of Caesars Entertainment knows full well how huge that purchase would have been for Harris, especially in 2005 before the downturn of the economy, how huge that would have been for them. The Total Rewards Program, how this works. The Total Rewards uh, Program is an award-winning loyalty program that provides single card access to many of the Caesars properties. Members have access to nearly 40 casinos located across the United States and Canada. Just with that one card, they can take that one card to all 40 casinos and utilize it in any one of those casinos. The Multi-Tiered Benefits Program allows members to earn credits doing the things that they love to do, including their gaming and their entertainment. So they can earn credits for doing any of those facets. And what they can do with those is members also, they receive invitations to special events, including tournaments, concerts, uh, festivals, and more. They're offered multiple ways to redeem these credits. Uh, some of those ways are purchasing items at the participating properties or outlets and at the TR marketplace uh, featuring many uh, favorite retailers. And what these do is, uh, this program, <clears throat> how it works is it builds up points for these individuals. And if you think about it, as you're building points, as you're spending money and building points on these total rewards programs, think of your American Express cards and how you will utilize that card over another card just because that card is building you points. Well, the same works with this. It's the same exact basic backgrounds of this program here. As members spend money at the casinos, they're building points. And if you're 
going to another casino, you're not going to build those points or build upon those points that you already built for the Harris Casino. So you're more prone to continue going to Harris properties because you've already established those points with them. So you can see the draw that this program brings for uh, uh, clients. The Harris Business Intelligence Use. This is just a pie chart showing how they utilize business intelligence. Um, <clears throat> and we'll go over these a little bit further here. But just to give you a little outline of this, they utilize IT intelligence, financial intelligence, guest intelligence, and property intelligence. And you can see from that all of the different pie pieces uh, breaking off from those four. <clears throat> here is they leverage this uh, business intelligence and they leverage it uh, to to gain a full range um, information of the overall property data to better understand their customers uh, preferences in these areas here they want to gain their uh, preferences information of their preferences and their slots playing card table games hospitality food and beverage retail and entertainment and their marketing promotions they want to know all of the information on all of those and what this does for them is it helps them gain a greater guest intelligence it helps them pinpoint influencers on player behavior. It helps them maximize the total <clears throat> guest value by attracting and retaining customers. And it helps them uh, realize the effectiveness of the various promotions and marketing campaigns. Helps them forecast for the future their marketing as well as um, the different venues and uh, entertainment they provide. It also helps them understand how guest spending and gaming and their gaming activity. And they do this by understanding uh, their bookings. They, it helps them understand the hotel fill rate and what that effect has on their financial bottom line. The two that I want to focus on here is the property intelligence <clears throat> and the guest intelligence. In the property intelligence, the property intelligence provides the following benefits. Um, utilizing the SaaS software. It helps them understand the total guest view and what this is, is it integrates guest interactions into a single repository or data warehouse um, and what this does is it creates a true value for each guest which combines trans transactions from each operational system and that being the uh, slot machines, the tables, the hotel, uh, POS systems, retail areas and the FMB. They also have their data cleansing in this the data cleansing and hygiene would be uh, taking the data that's coming in and making sure it's reliable data um, so that they can maintain the quality of the information they're receiving. They are able to receive prompt, comprehensive reporting and analysis. The system and the tools will provide the ability to create standard reporting and conduct analysis for finance and operational departments. In the guest intelligence portion, they're able to target guests um, based on marketing strategies. They utilize advanced analytic techniques and based on client properties and what they'll do is they'll have the tools to be able to conduct targeted marketing campaigns based on the statistics they receive of this. They manage the marketing effectiveness. This is done through the system uh, by the system allowing them to understand the results and effectiveness of the marketing campaigns. They also have their media optimization. With the media optimization, they are, they are able to gain an understanding of how their media campaigns are doing, whether their, exp their expenditures are too high for the, in, uh, the return on the media campaigns. The contact management. This enables them to each of the properties to analyze, manage, and, and optimize the time, frequency, and message uh, specifics of the guest communications and their web channel effectiveness. This is a web analytics, and this web analytics is able to take um, a proactive approach to reaching out to customers online. Now to look at some of the business intelligent vendors, <clears throat> we can look at these, uh, these various vendors, the IBM <clears throat> vendors, these IBM vendors, what they did uh, was they provided the uh, business intelligence software, SaaS, provided them with the mining and drilling uh, portions of software to allow them for information uh, for the pertinent data needed for the program's success. And then Teradata, which is their data warehousing, which warehouses uh, their more than 28 million plus uh, customers within their database. 
the SAS software, SAS 9, it's a, a statistical analysis system, and it is a highly intuitive data mining software used within the Ynet system to drill and mine the customer information to understand the trends in each of the customer's behaviors. And they utilize this <coughs> for the following tasks, for data entry, uh, report writing, graphics design, statistical and mathematical analysis, which are huge, business forecasting and decision support. They utilize this information of the forecasting based on the historical data that they receive from this system and to enable them to forecast and make their decisions. Their operations, research and project management, and their applications development. All of these are utilized within the SAS portion of this. The IBM Cognos um, information. This IBM Cognos information, it can be integrated into any of the ERP systems uh, available. And they can utilize this information to develop reports, to equip users with the information they need to make fact-based decisions. They can utilize it for dashboards, and these dashboards are key for uh, helping customers. The accounting department, for instance, doesn't want or doesn't need the same information that the reservations department is needing for their information. Like we discussed earlier, the reservations department is populated on their screen with all of the customers' relevant information. Well, the accounting department doesn't need to know their trends in slot machines or those different things. They just need to know how much they're spending, what they're using to pay for that, and those key factors. So you can set up those different dashboards based on that. You can utilize it for analysis. Capabilities provide access to information from multiple angles and perspectives so you can view and analyze it uh, to make informed decisions. Collaboration. Collaborates include uh, communication tools and social networking fuel the exchange of ideas and decision-making process. So you can utilize the information you're receiving from social networks and collaborate that information to provide you with the brainstorming ideas that you need for those decisions. Scorecarding, the capabilities to automate the, and to automate the capture, management, and monitoring of the business metrics. So you can automate this information based on the software. Teradata, what Teradata is, is it is a data warehousing um, company. What they do is they utilize uh, database technology and scalable software uh, along with tools and applications available from the industry today. They utilize parallel processing and parallel processing. Um, best way to explain this would be for you to think of a deck of cards, 52 cards in one deck, and let's say they, that you were to give it to someone who has no clue what uh, cards are within that deck. You have no clue that there's four aces, four kings, four queens on down the line. But you give that deck to, the, to them and you tell them how many aces are within that deck. Well, the only way that that person would be able to know that information would be to break that deck out and go through each of those 52 cards to figure out how many aces are within that deck. And then they could come back and give that to you. With parallel processing, you take that deck, you break it out into four different people. So now that deck is in 13 card bits. And they take those, and those four people are able to go through that deck and think of how much quicker that processing is based on uh, taking that and breaking it down to the quarter, a quarter of the size. <clears throat> From there, we go even further. The access module processor, this AMP processor. It's a patented arch architecture that allows... Uh, complex decision support and it breaks down that information into smaller tasks and then distributes that to the parallel software processors. So you're not only breaking it down with the parallel portion, but now you're breaking it down even further with these AMP processors, this access module processor. And so you're, you're even breaking it down even further and making it that quicker. And then to take it even one step further, the AMP is just one type, one of two types of the virtual processors. Now you have the parsing engine, which breaks down the queries that are coming in and breaks those down into manageable pieces. So on one end, you have the queries coming in and you're breaking those down into manageable pieces. Those queries are going out and grabbing that information from the database on the data side. And on the data side, you have that information coming out and it's being broke down into various small pieces by the AMP and then going from the AMP to the parallel processor and being broke down again. So you can see how quick this process can, ha can happen based on the software that they're using. <clears throat> now based on that, the technologies that are being used, this customer relationship management software, that would be your SaaS software. Uh, the Harris, they've chosen to use this customer relationship software 
um, to utilize marketing techniques and build customer loyalty. Uh, they utilize the SaaS software for predictive analysis as well as for marketing e expertise to encourage its co best customers to return to its casinos again and again. As a result of this, Harris has become uh, number one in profits in a, as a percentage of revenues in their industry based on that. And they also utilize their data, data mining technologies uh, for the company as well. The benefits of uh, business intelligence to Harris, you can see customer spending increased from 30% to nearly 50%. Their income rose 10%. Uh, income rose from operations rose from to by 26 percent that would be uh, their expenditures um, say on employees they're becoming more efficient uh, their various systems are becoming more efficient they're placing their slot machines in their casinos uh, based on the business intelligence they're receiving that's helping them with their operation expenses uh, the expenses or the customer gaming budgets rose 45 percent the company raised its share from gaming uh, market by 750 basis points and the stock price grew from $14 to $73, which is huge. The challenges that the company is facing. The challenges would be the proliferation of casinos. In the, from 2007 on till 2011, uh, many different uh, states opened up their venues for uh, either casinos or slot machines to come into their areas. So these various <clears throat> challenges now have arisen for Harris to stay competitive. And because of that, um, Harris now has to go back to these uh, different areas and utilize this business intelligence software again, like they did in 1995 for their customer loyalty program. And they have to utilize that to forecast based on histor historical facts, use that to forecast them to help them stay ahead of their competition when it comes to these different venues opening up. And you also have skittish customers. Uh, due to the downturn in the economy, now customers are becoming more tight uh, with their money. They don't want to release that money. They don't want to uh, just throw their money away in casinos. And because of that, they're starting to lose revenues because of that as well. So they're having to figure out and fine tune those business intelligence based on that. And they're going to have to continue to do that to in order to enable themselves to continue with their trends of having uh, customers come back to them, having their loyal customers coming back to them. And that could be by, uh, you know, coming up with different marketing campaigns. So the question would be for them is how do you attract new and returning customers to increase revenues? Well, we talked about a few of those, and I'm sure they have many more that, they, uh, that they're going to be coming up with. So the questions that I have for you would be what are the steps that one would need to take to understand the need of business intelligence in their own organization? And in what ways could this same concept of a loyalty program that Harris Entertainment developed benefit other businesses in different industries? Let's say the construction industry, for instance. How could a subcontractor come up with some sort of loyalty program for their general contractors to develop that type of loyalty for the general, for the uh, subcontractor? So there's different venues that, or ways that you can uh, do those types of things. And these questions just kind of draw that out of you for your own business. How can your business utilize these same techniques that Harris used to enable your business to become a number one in your industry? I want to thank you for the opportunity I've had to uh, go through and research this out with Jeff and the opportunity that we've had to be in this class. We are greatly appreciative of it, and this has been a very informative project for us. Thank you very much.